the year. Um, not sure what he's doing next year, though, whether he's heading back to the US or whether he's staying in Europe for another year with the team that he's with. I know Jackie Vimon likes working with him, so maybe he'll be encouraged to stay uh, in Europe for one more year. And uh, if so, then he'll certainly be looking to capitalise on, uh, on that and uh, score top tens regular. But Ken Roxon, though, on his final lap, coasting 159.7 compared to the best lap of the race of 52.3. So uh, he knows he's just got to bring it home here. And uh, him and Thomas Ramsbacker and the rest of the guys, Marcus Bau, Tech Europe, Suzuki, they will be more than pleased with the performance that he's put in, in uh, well, not just here, but uh, certainly since Udavala. Back-to-back -back race wins, Moto number two, Udavala, Moto number one in uh, Lommel. A win in the second in uh, Lockett, Czech Republic, losing out though to Marvin Muscan, who went second and first. But then since then, a double winner, Campo Grande in Brazil. A second moto winner in Lirop, and he's going to be a double moto winner here as well. So, uh, yeah, great turnaround for Roxon, but unfortunately for him, Marvin Muscan, no DNFs until the final race of the year. And this guy suffering his own disappointment in uh, Catalonia and also Lirop. So, uh, but he won't mind that. He was, uh, he's going to be victorious here today. But he's had a, he still had a great season, though, hasn't he, Stefan? Yeah, I think when when you, when the bike the bike uh, didn't break, then uh, then it would be a very tough season for Marvin. So it was bad luck for Ken, and not not even in Spain and in Europe. It was also in uh, Sweden, I think. The bike also broke. Yeah. And yeah, bad luck. But I think he's one of the men. He will fight for the title next year, and I'm pretty sure that it's it's going to be not easy for the rest of them. <laughs> and he blows a kiss to the whole of the Suzuki crew there, and everybody down pit lane. Just uh, congratulating Roxon as he takes the second big whip of the day. He takes uh, his second double moto victory of the season. And he wins the Grand Prix of Italy here in Fermo. Disappointment.